how do you do it? Right. The traditional way of cloning a database, well, I'll go from the bottom up on this slide. Do it manually. You copy the entire database to a different location. You create a control file for it. You change the name. You change the DBID. You open with the reset logs. And there you are with a cloned database. Fine. But cloned databases, I always think, the whole routine, I don't ever want to do it that way again. I've seen too many errors. It's dreadfully prone to error, particularly if the clone is on the same machine as the source. One of our clients about a year ago doing their manual cloning routines destroyed the production database. Why? Minor mistake in a script, and they overwrote a control file of the production database with the control file of the clone. It's very prone to error. Alternative technique, DataGuard. Much better, but you've got licensing issues, of course. Enterprise edition, no. Particularly if you want to use real application testing, it becomes even more expensive. But certainly a good solution, provided licensing is not an issue. Most people will be cloning with RMAN. I certainly would generally be cloning with RMAN. If the RMAN technique is not so prone to error at all, it will make sure you never do accidentally overwrite a database. But it's still quite a lot of work to set up.